Hey everyone, Joe Jordy here, BlackBerryOS.com. Now, I have gotten my BlackBerry 10 DevOffice C device, and today I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of the OS 10.1 operating system that's running on the device right now. Uh, this is a beta operating system that's on there. Um, here's the box that it came in. Let me toss that off to the side. And this is the developer alpha device that is going to be used by developers to help them create their apps and get them finalized for the BlackBerry Q10 device that's coming out. It has the same screen resolution. Uh, the keyboard's very reminiscent to how the BlackBerry Q10 keyboard's going to look like as far as size. Um, the, as far as size of the device goes, it'll be very similar. Um, but the obviously the design will be quite a bit different from the Dev Alpha C and the BlackBerry Q10. So, let's go ahead and there's an OS that just came out. It's a developer beta OS and it's 10.1.0.1485, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. Anyhow, uh, it gave access before those with BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha C devices didn't have access to like phone and maps. This new update just gave us access to uh, we got uh, now we have phone, we have text messaging, maps, the hub. Also, calendar. Um, there supports multiple calendars, um, so there's a lot of nice little fancy updates. And we go ahead and walk through it. Um, go ahead and check out the hub first. So there it is. So this kind of keeps track of all your stuff that's going on, um, just like the BlackBerry Z10. Um, and so we have access to the hub. The only thing we don't have access to right now, for as far as the hub goes, is in the Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn integration. Although I have the apps installed. I can't actually use them. Um, I've tried to sign in, it won't let me sign in. Like if I go to Twitter here, it'll say sign in, and then it'll take me to the email account or contacts account, and I won't be able to sign in. So that's okay. Um, updates I'm sure will be coming out to, to, to gain more access, but I mean, this device isn't meant to be a full consumer device, it's meant to just give access to the APIs and everything so developers can put the apps on the phone see how their apps are running. Um, and they are running fairly well on this device. I have, uh, in fact, I put I installed Black, which I have here, which is uh, just came out for the Z10. And it seems to be running really well on this uh, Q10 device, or the, not this Q10 device, excuse me, Dev Alpha C device, so really cool. Um, anyhow, Let's get out of that. So let me just walk you through some of these native apps that are on here. Uh, contacts, browser, calendar, BBM. Um, BBM, we have the dark screen now. It's the dark theme. So if you go in here, you see you got a nice, cool looking dark theme. Uh, let's get out of that. We have Blackberry World. Blackberry World works very good. Uh, everything, you can download apps now as long as they're uh, accessible and developers have put the uh, the actual compatibility there. Uh, score loop. So this is your game center. As you can see, I got mine set up. Let's get out of that. Camera works really well. Um, I won't even need to go. I can go into that. I'll show you. Take a picture real quick. There we go. Ready. There we go. Um, and then, of course, we have Maps. Maps is also one of these that just came into the recent OS, and that's working really well. So, see there. Phone. Uh, up here we have four spots. Looks like you can, four favorites you can add instead of just the usual three that the Z10 has. So, uh, text messaging. Self explanatory. And then, like I say, I have some apps running right now. Uh, Angry Birds Star Wars. It's funny because it opens up like in landscape, and it didn't. I don't think it did it the first time I opened it, but then it goes right back to portrait. Of course, there is no landscape on the 720 by 720. I mean, technically, you could call one landscape, but there's no point to it. So, Angry Birds Star Wars works really well. The screen display is very nice. You know, games games work well. It's you can game on this phone. It doesn't have the big real estate like the Z10, but it's still gameable. I mean, you can, you know. So, 
Otherwise, yeah, uh, I did an unboxing where I kind of showed the device off. You know, I just kind of show you here real quick. Micro HDMI, USB, micro, or excuse me, micro USB. Uh, you have your, you know, on off button, microphone jack, volume rockers, up and down, play pause. You know, there's actually a couple tiny little microphones up here too, up at the top. It's, yeah, you, go, you can kind of see them, little black spots. And then you have your speaker down here and the microphone. So anyhow, that's just a quick run through of the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha C device. I'm just kind of showing you guys what the latest OS has for it. And yeah, look for the BlackBerry Q10 coming out soon. And all these developers will be making app, great apps for it. So through this uh, BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha C device. Thanks for watching, everyone.